The HAL Tejas MK2 also stands out for its emphasis on stealth and survivability features. While it is not a full fifth generation stealth jet, it does incorporate radar cross section reduction measures such as composite materials, radar absorbent coatings, and refined airframe shaping. These measures help the aircraft remain less detectable to enemy radars, giving it an edge during modern combat missions. Additionally, the electronic warfare suite, including self protection jammers and towed decoys, makes it capable of defending itself even in heavily contested airspaces, ensuring that survivability is prioritized alongside offensive capabilities. Another important aspect of the Tejas MK2 is its extended combat radius. Compared to the MK1, the MK2 is designed with larger internal fuel tanks, giving it nearly 1,500 kilometers of combat radius on internal fuel alone. This is further extendable through in-flight refueling probes, which means it can stay in the air for long-range strike missions without depending heavily on forward bases. This extended reach will allow the Indian Air Force to project power far beyond its borders, strengthening both defensive and deterrence roles, especially in high-altitude or maritime zones. The avionics suite in the MK2 reflects the shift towards digital warfare. Its sensor fusion system integrates data from radar, electronic support measures, targeting pods, and infrared systems into one simplified display for the pilot. This reduces workload and allows quicker decision-making in combat scenarios. Moreover, the communication and data link systems will allow seamless connectivity with other fighters, airborne warning and control systems, and ground units. This network-centric warfare capability is crucial in modern conflicts, ensuring the MK2 is not operating as an isolated platform but as a connected asset in a larger battle network. From a maintenance and operational perspective, HAL has worked to ensure that the Tejas MK2 addresses the lessons learned from the MK1 program. The MK2 has modular components, easier accessibility for technicians, and more reliable systems, which translates into lower turnaround times between sorties. This is critical in wartime scenarios where aircraft need to return to the skies quickly after missions. The use of indigenous parts also reduces dependency on foreign suppliers, which has historically been a challenge for the Indian defense sector. Lastly, cost and affordability play a major role in the Tejas MK2 program. While the exact unit price has not been officially disclosed yet, it is expected to be far lower than imported alternatives like the Rafale, while still offering competitive performance. This makes it a cost-effective option for the Indian Air Force to build up squadron strength. With India planning to induct more than 100 units, the economies of scale will further reduce costs over time. When this is combined with the boost it gives to India's domestic aerospace ecosystem, the MK2 represents not just a fighter aircraft but also a strategic tool for self-reliance and industrial growth. Do you want me to expand this even more with 5 to 10 additional paragraphs focusing on weapons integration and comparison with rival jets like the JF-17 Block 3 or Rafale?